My name is Easton Allen, and I am interviewing Michael Segaris. And my first question for you is, how long have you lived in Modesto? Easton, I lived in Modesto almost all of my life. I was born in Modesto. I went to elementary school in Modesto. I went to high school in Modesto. I left to go to college. And after college, I worked in the Bay Area and in Tennessee for a while. Came back to Modesto in the late 1970s, and I've lived here ever since. So almost all my life. My second question is, how have you helped improve our community? Wow, that's a very interesting question. I've been, I've been blessed to be, able to, be along, to be able to be involved in a number of activities that I think have helped improve the community. In my professional work, one of the things that I've been able to do is I've been able to help develop neighborhoods and uh, housing projects and office projects that have helped benefit the community. Uh, including the Eastridge project, which happens to be around the Lakewood School, and a whole bunch of other neighborhoods in Modesto. And I've been involved in a lot of community activities, too. Uh, like I helped save the State Theater of Modesto, which is in downtown Modesto, that was a, an old movie theater that was going to be lost to our community. And I've been able to participate in lots of other community activities. Like I helped start Leadership Modesto program, which helps you know, encourage people and educate people to be leaders in our community, help build the Stanislaus State University Foundation, and, uh, and help the Doctors Medical Center where I was chairman of the Board of Governors to help a major medical center here. So I've had a lot of different opportunities to do things in our community and enjoyed them all. And my third question is, what is the most memorable thing you've been a part of? Being a father. It's the most memorable thing I've been a part of, and I think it's also really memorable for me to be part of building an organization at PMZ Real Estate and all of our affiliated companies. Now we employ, you know, about 750 people, and for me, it's just been a very memorable thing to have experienced this and done it with my family in a family business. And my fourth question is, what do you think our county is most known for? Our county? I think our county is most known for agriculture and for um, the agribusiness activities that take place here. I think it's one of, this is one of the richest areas in the world for agriculture, and I think our county is known for that and uh, all over the world, frankly. And um, how has Modesto changed since you were a kid? My goodness, it's changed a lot, Easton. When I was a kid, Modesto was a very small town. It had about 20,000 people living in it, and today it has about 200,000 people living in it. So it has, it has changed a lot. Mainly, it's become a much, much bigger community. Um, my sixth question is, are, are there any parts of running a business that are difficult because it's in Modesto? Uh, yeah. I think there's, it's difficult running businesses in California and Modesto happens to be obviously in California, so there's difficulties running a business in California because it has more regulations and, and uh, more government rules that make it difficult, more difficult to run a business. In Modesto, I think what makes it it's particularly challenging is the level of education of the people here tends to be lower than in other parts of the country, and so it's really difficult in Modesto to find qualified workers to work in businesses, and that, I think, I would say is probably is something that's particularly difficult in Modesto, something that may not be as difficult in Palo Alto or Sacramento or San Diego or some other cities. Hmm. Um, who helped you become successful or did you do it yourself? Well, I, I think that I have to give credit mostly to my parents, my mother and father, who taught me uh, the importance of working hard and who encouraged me to get a good education, both an undergraduate education and to get a, a graduate, uh, postgraduate education. Um, so I, my parents and, and, and so many other people in my life that I would call mentors, people who are very special people who taught me things. And so there are a number of people. But I give most credit to my parents, Easton. OK. Um, my eighth question is, what was happening in Modesto when you were growing up? What was happening? Gosh, I think the town was growing a lot. And um, there were, you know, I, c I can't really say that anything unusual was happening in Modesto when I was growing up. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie American Graffiti by uh, George Lucas. 
but that's a movie that, uh, that kind of portrays the experience of being a young person in Modesto in the, at the period of time when I was growing up. Um, was it better to live in Modesto when you were a kid or now? Why? Well, I think it was great then and I think it's great now. And I think it really all depends on the person who could take full advantage of it. The thing I really, really like about Modesto, and I've had the opportunity to live in the Bay Area as well and live in another state, this is a very family-oriented community and there's lots of nice activities for families here. And I think that makes it a particularly special place. Um, and my last question is, what do you think the future of Modesto will be like? It will be whatever you and your, the, your friends make it. Because the future of Modesto is in the hands of the young people. It's in, it's in the hands of you and it's in the hands of your fellow students. And what you guys do will make Modesto what its future is all about. The role I've played and I continue to play, I hope, has been meaningful. But I think the future of Modesto is not in my hands. It's in the hands of the young people. And I would look forward to what it's like. Okay. Well, then, that's all my questions. Well, thank you, Easton. It's very nice talking to you today. Okay, thank you.